this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely egg. I mean, sorry, Stampy's lovely world. Uh, you distracted me yesterday. You threw me one of your eggs, and I got all distracted. <laughs> anyway, welcome to uh, another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. As in every single lovely world episode, I am going to be joined by Lee Bear, who looks like he's part of the painting. You, you kind of blended in perfectly there, Lee Bear, until you started bouncing up and down. <laughs> it looks like this really nice old classical painting and then there's a big friendly bear face just painted onto the other side of it as well. I kind of just see your dancing nose at the moment there, Lee. Anyway, good morning, Lee. How are you feeling today? If you're feeling in a really good mood, then try and catch this egg, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one, catch the egg! <laughs> Did, I, I don't think he caught it. I think I think he, he tried to catch it, and then the egg disappeared. It was a silly joke egg. Anyway, I don't want a silly joke cake that's going to disappear. In fact, I do want it to disappear, but the only reason I want it to disappear is because I want it to disappear into my mouth. Now, of course, at the beginning of every episode, I have my cake for breakfast. And stop teasing me, Lee Stop showing me the cake that's switching. You know, I don't want pumpkin pie. Please, Lee Bear. Please. Please, can you, can you show me the cake? I know you're trying to make it disappear. I just want to eat the cake. Please, Lee Bear, please. Is he going to put it down? Yay! Nom, 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 nom. Oh, no, this won't do. Hello, hello, I've left one slice there. Right, I need to get hungry. I need to, to get hungry enough uh, to try and eat that final little bit of slice. I just need to get the uh, the tiniest bit of hunger down, and then I should be able to eat it. There we go. I've got a little bit of hunger down. Go, 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 go. And now I can finish my breakfast. <gasps> Yum. There we go. I now feel complete. <laughs> right then. Uh, let's go and uh, head straight over to the uh, the love garden then, and uh, let's announce uh, who I'm going to be uh, adding to it uh, to today. I'm actually kind of adding a, a family today, and uh, that's because they had... A a, a special Minecraft and Stampy themed birthday. Uh, so I'm adding L Fish Pirate, and it's actually her kids. Uh, I know that one of them's called Brandon, and uh, it's also his sister I'm adding, but, uh, but I sadly don't know her name. Uh, but yeah, you can see that they had a, a Stampy themed uh, birthday. Uh, they had a big cutout uh, of uh, the uh, the Stampy Cat from uh, I Wonder on the uh, the Wonder Quest channel. Uh, there's also lots of mini games based off my games, like Fist Me a Dish and uh, Flower Power, and of course a big Stampy Cat cake. So it looked uh, absolutely amazing. I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for sending me the uh, the pictures and welcome to my love garden, uh, everyone in the Elfish Pirate family. Right then, Lee Bear. It would be race time, and today we are going to have a bouncy race. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be continually jumping, and you're not allowed to sprint and jump. You can only stay just jumping and then just holding forward, and then the first person to the uh, the doghouse uh, gets to decide which dog we take. And you've got to make sure when you enter the doghouse, uh, you can't stop jumping. You've got to try and jump uh, through the uh, the doorway. <laughs> and uh, so the way we start is that uh, you have to begin by going through the, uh, the big heart, uh, but then it doesn't matter which route you take after then. Do you understand all of the uh, the rules, Lee Bear? Right, you're good. Let's begin then in three, two, one, go, go, go. Let's go and have ourselves a, a bouncy race. There we go. I managed to get straight through the uh, the heart and uh, so did Lee Bear. It might be a, a little bit of a, a slower race today, seeing as we are just continually bouncing. <laughs> I thought I'd try and be sneaky there and try and close the gate behind me. Or oh, I could do it here. If I'm sneaky, I could try and shut the gate and then Lee Bear has to try and open it while jumping up and down. That worked really well. I was able to, to slow him down. Oh no! Oh no, but he skipped the through! He managed to jump down and beat me anyway. I thought I was being all clever and uh, trapping him uh, behind the gate, but he was able to, to win anyway. And that means Lee Bear gets to decide which dog uh, I'm going to be taking with me on this video. So uh, he's just going to stand behind whichever sign uh, he wants uh, me to, to take with me. And I don't mean the other uh, sign, I mean the uh, the dog. It looks like he wants me to take Benji with me. So where is Benji? Here's Benji uh, hanging out with Barnaby. Barnaby and Benji. That <laughs> sounds like uh, quite a good doggy duo, doesn't it? <laughs> All right then, Benji, you can come and join me. And I have I have been thinking that I feel like I need to get my dogs a little bit more involved. I took Flippy with me in my last episode, and uh, the poor girl was just sitting in front of the uh, the building while we built it the, the entire time. So I tell you what, uh, Benji, uh, you can come and you can have some fun, and I'm not going to make you just sit down next to uh, what we're doing i'm gonna let you kind of join in and look at that that is the uh the thing we're building at the moment my fire workshop uh, in the last episode we built the uh the actual building uh, we built this uh big spire here and if i just uh sneakily end a pearl onto the other uh, roof uh, i'll show you the uh the dome i actually uh, improved it uh, a little bit since the uh, the last episode and uh, by i mean improving i mean made bigger basically i made this big dome uh, even bigger so it's uh, even brighter and uh, more colorful and it just means that if you're looking at it from like over here somewhere it kind 
kind of just stands out a little bit more than it did before because it was a little bit uh, pathetic before. And uh, what I really like, though, is the fact that if you go inside here... Oh, look! A magical open chest. Yeah, if you go inside here, uh, it looks uh, really cool uh, looking up on the, uh, the ceiling, which I really like. Uh, so then... What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building the uh, entire interior and uh, making all of the, the firework whiz-bang uh, stuff inside of here, making it all nice and uh, bright, colourful, and uh, a good place to, to make fireworks. And while I do that, Lee Bear, uh, you can go, and uh, you can go and uh, add the uh, the other spires. So I've done the, the first one there, and we're going to add three more that are going to be even taller uh, than this one, going up into the uh, the sky. Uh, so hopefully they're going to look a little bit uh, like, um, like fireworks. They're more firework-themed rather than uh, exactly trying to, to look like fireworks. So Lee Bear, you can go and get busy doing that. And uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to go and do my uh, my work on the, the inside. And it's uh, it's kind of a little bit difficult to know where to start when looking in a, a big empty room like this. Uh, but I think the uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, to add in uh, the uh, the droppers uh, for the, uh, the different colours. So uh, the way it's going to work is along this wall here, there's going to be pillars of all of the uh, the different colours that you can make fireworks out of. And uh, you basically press a button and then it's going to fire out uh, a bit of dye into some water. And uh, it's going to take it to, to where it needs to go, basically. And so I think that's going to be the uh, the first thing I'm going to build. So let's go and get rid of all of my tools and things. Because uh, I'm not going to need them for now. Uh, all I need is a whole load of uh, colour. And I'm basically going to line it up uh, with the, uh, the ceiling along here. Uh, so that we have all of the, uh, the different colours that you can make. So it's ten uh, different colours that you can make. So uh, let's try and grab these in order. I think it's yellow, and uh, then it's lime, and then it would be dark green after that, and then cyan followed by blue, and then we got, uh, I think it would be purple after that, and then, yeah, purple, magenta, uh, pink, and then it's going to be orange, and then red's the last one, which I can't fit in yet. Uh, I'm just going to hold it here. So I basically uh, need to do big pillars uh, along here like this. And uh, actually, I need to leave a, a bit of a gap uh, just so I can go and uh, add in all of my droppers as well. So let's go along to here. I need to add the, uh, the red in, uh, in a minute. Uh, but I'm also going to go... Oh, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's supposed to be uh, yellow again. And so this is basically marking uh, which color is going to end up coming out. So if I just go uh, the whole way along here like this uh, to the end, and I might as well do it all the way down to the, the bottom here as well. And uh, it's also going to be... Uh, where you stand when you're pressing the button, uh, there's also going to be those colours there as well, just so you're 100% uh, sure that you're getting the, the colour that you want. So let's just go fill in the, the red there, and then we're going to do a big row uh, of the uh, the droppers uh, on the other uh, side over there. So let's go and uh, get rid of all of this wool for now, because uh, I'm just going to be filling up my pockets, and uh, let's go and make ourselves some droppers. And uh, the good thing about droppers rather than dispensers is that they don't fire out uh, items as much, which is quite handy, and they're also really easy to make. All you need is a cobblestone and a redstone. Stone. So uh, I need to, to make 10 of these for now. I'm going to need a, a few more later on, uh, but for now I need 10. So let's see how many I can make. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. And I've got plenty of cobblestone left. I might as well go make a, a bunch more now because I know that I'm going to need them later on as well. So I'm going to go along like this and uh, put all of these droppers here. And then uh, above them, uh, we're going to have a, a row of buttons uh, so that when you press them, uh, the item's going to be fired out. And uh, you can see uh, that it lines up perfectly uh, with the uh, the ceiling. So uh, in the last episode, when I was saying about how I was trying to do this uh, the roof really specifically, uh, that is why. See, I am actually, uh, I actually uh, do put a little bit of a thought into, into these things. <laughs> right then, let's go and add where the, uh, the water's going to be then. So there's basically going to be glowstone uh, in the uh, along here and then the water is going to push uh, the stream uh, to kind of go and link up with what's going to, to be over here so let's go uh, let's go and add in the uh, the glowstone now then shall we so uh, the glowstone uh, is going to be uh, in a row along here and then the, we need to leave a little bit of a, a gap i think it's on the the fifth one here i think it is uh, next to, to where the uh, the purple is uh, there's going to be a bit of a gap uh, where the uh, the water is going to drop down and that's just basically to make it so the uh, the water uh, can go a little bit further and then in front of this uh, we're going to build up uh, with these uh, uh with these never quartz and the idea is is that we basically I want to try and make it so that you can press the button, uh, but you can't actually jump in uh, to, to where uh, the uh, the water is going to be. So you're not going to accidentally fall in and uh, be turned into fireworks. <laughs> you don't want to slip in that stream of water, yeah, because otherwise uh, you might end up being sent into the sky and exploding, uh, which won't be very much fun. So let's go now, and I'm going to make some stairs, uh, some quartz stairs, and some uh, half slabs as well, uh, because uh, we need them. Because uh, actually the, uh, the floor is going to be mainly covered uh, with half slabs later on. And uh, the reason for that is uh, because uh, I want to have the water actually going under the, uh, the floor. And so to do that, 
uh, the, it's actually going to have to be half slabs. And I also uh, need some glass as well uh, to go uh, along the top uh, so you can see through. But as I said, uh, not full through. And I don't actually have any glass on me, uh, but that's no problem because we have plenty uh, of sand around here, which I should probably uh, have uh, cleared up anyway. So I can go and grab all of this and I can go and throw it inside of my, my furnace and then we can go and get some of the, uh, the glass smelting. So I'm going to grab uh, a little bit more. I think about 30 should be fine. There we go. 31. <laughs> Just uh, for good measure. And whoa, what's what's going on here, Lieber? You're making a mess. And whoa, look, he's already finished the uh, the first spire. Looking good, Lieber. Looking good. Can't wait to see uh, the uh, the progress at the uh, the end of the video. All right, so let's go and uh, throw this sand in here. I actually got some more never quartz in here, which I can grab as well. I had that uh, smelting from before. And so I'm going to have the glass going along here. Oh, actually, what I think I should do is do the, the colors uh, along here, as I uh, as I said before. So rather than using this never quartz here, if I use the, uh, the color wall again, uh, I think that's going to look a, a little bit better. So all the floor is going to be white like never quartz, uh, but all of the uh, the walls and ceiling is going to be all bright and colorful. So let's try and do it in the uh, the same order. I think it's all kind of uh, fallen into the, the right order anyway. Actually, no, it's not. I need uh, purple now, uh, I think, is next, and then magenta, uh, and then pink. And then it's the uh, the orange and then the red, sadly, again, <laughs> can't fit in with the, uh, the rest. So let's go and uh, do one more row of these colors uh, along here like this. Uh, once I put them in order, it's really easy to paste them down far. So this way uh, you can uh, doubly see for sure uh, which color is going to go where. And uh, <laughs> I haven't regretted having Benji running around yet. Everything seems to be relatively safe and he hasn't got in the uh, the way too much so far. And I say so far, Benji, because I want that to, to continue for the, uh, the rest of the video, please. Uh, all right, so let's now go and uh, uh, we can grab a little bit of the uh, the glass that should have smelted so we can start uh, placing it in. And I'm going to get some of these. I get a bit more never quartz and I get these uh, slabs as well. And then we can go and try and uh, fill the, uh, the rest of this in. So we're going to have steps, uh, I think, leading up. Uh, to here, uh, just like this, so we can stand where we need to be. And actually, we need glass uh, along here as well. And so this way, we should be able to reach the uh, the buttons, uh, but not the um, uh, but not anything else. So I do need uh, a little bit more glass. And so let me just work this out. So there's going to be half slabs all along the the floor here. So I actually think we need the steps uh, to be a little bit higher. I think if the steps are there, wait, no, they can't go there because then we uh, won't be able to to actually see. Uh, where the the wall's going to be like I want to be able to see the wall uh, but I also uh, want to um uh, yeah, I want to uh, to be able to stand in the right place. So let's go and do blocks in here and fill this in like that. And then if we just do half slabs uh, rather than stairs, and you see, then I can go and stand on top of the, the half slabs and I'll be able to press the button, uh, but I can also just about see where that is. So if I now go and put uh, the steps here, actually, uh, they should all fit in uh, quite nicely like this. And excuse me, Benji, please behave. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of these uh, few half slabs I put in here, and I'm going to go and add these steps uh, uh, back in down there and then this side should be almost done the only other thing I really need to, to add in uh, is the uh, the actual buttons and of course the uh, the die and that's going to go in the uh, the dispenser so I'm going to run up here I'll press the the button and then it will fire it out and then the water is all going to be trailing down through there so this is where the uh, the colors are going to be uh, but we also uh, needed to add all of the other elements that go into to making fireworks so you also need gunpowder and uh, paper and then you can add other things like feathers and glowstone and that uh, just to make them look uh, even cooler and so what we're going to do on this uh, back wall over here is uh, we're not going to worry about colors we're just going to use uh, blocks of quartz for now and I'm going to build a wall here and we're basically going to do kind of like the the same thing uh, but rather than uh, filling them full of uh, color uh, it's just going to be uh, making all of these different items uh, get fired out so uh, if we kind of build up uh, around here like this and uh, build along here like this. Then I'm going to add the uh, the rest. Uh, all of my uh, my droppers are going to go up here somewhere. So let's go and uh, add in this here, which is where the uh, the buttons are going to be. Then I'm going to go and add in uh, all of the uh, the droppers along here. I'm not sure how. I think I might actually need seven. So let's go uh, one, two three four five six uh, I think it's, I think it's six I need actually so there's um, gunpowder paper uh, fire charges gold feather uh, glow so actually no and diamonds as well you can uh, use diamonds if you want to do a, a, a very fancy and uh, expensive <laughs> firework uh, so yeah these are all gonna be along here 
And uh, because we don't have the other uh, colors, uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to put item frames uh, on top of the other uh, droppers. And not everyone uh, knows that you can uh, actually do this. Uh, but if you put them on top, uh, they still work. If you fire an item out, it just fires uh, through the, the item frame. And so I can go and now grab uh, some of the uh, the items that I have uh, in this chest here. And I can just go and uh, put them uh, straight uh, into into here. And uh, yeah, we can have all of the, the items that we need. So I think we have gunpowder and paper are the, uh, the most important. Important. So we'll put these in here and then if I kind of sneak around the side I can put the actual items in uh, so that when I press the uh, the button uh, they're going to go and get fired out So then there's also the uh, the gold you can do as well and then there's the uh, the feathers I'm going to put inside of this one here uh, diamonds if you're very fancy I've only put four diamonds in <laughs> that's the uh, the maximum uh, amount of diamonds I'm willing to to waste on fireworks and then uh, the last one was actually glowstone but it's glowstone dust uh, rather than actual glowstone so what I'm actually going to have to do is uh, break away uh, some of this glowstone and if I accidentally uh, put any glowstone in the uh, the wrong place later on as well uh, then I can go and just throw it all uh, straight in there so it won't be uh, wasted I also destroyed the the floor a little bit so I can go and put that back in all right let's go and put the uh, the glow stone in there so this side uh, is looking pretty good as well so now i just need to go and do the uh, the same thing uh, that i did before uh, with the uh, with the glass so uh, it needs to be half slabs uh, whether this is where the the glass needs to be uh, so this needs to be normal blocks up to uh, about here and I'm going to go and fill in this uh, area here a little bit as well. And then I'm going to fill in down there uh, just so that when we add all the water, it doesn't escape. And I'm also going to make the um, uh, these uh, never quartz into never quartz blocks as well because we need to have uh, a few more of these because uh, we're actually, as I said, going to cover most of the, uh, the floor uh, with uh, half slabs as well a little bit later on. So let's go and uh, fill in that there. And then we now need to go and add in some more half slabs, uh, which are going to be uh, along here like this. And uh, we can actually leave a little bit of a gap there because no one's going to see it. And uh, go and add in uh, a few more steps. So let's go and uh, make uh, a few more half slabs because uh, I need uh, a few more of these to go along to, to there. And uh, now I can go and add in uh, these steps, uh, which are going to go along here uh, just uh, like this. And I actually need uh, a few more never quartz. I think there might be. Yeah, we go. I've got a whole other stack uh, of these in here. This should hopefully uh, be enough. Uh, to cover up the uh, the rest of the uh, the floor uh, in these uh, in these half slabs. Let's go and make a, a few more steps, and I can go and place these along here just like this. And if this place looks a little bit messy now, I might actually uh, break away these steps here and kind of just make it so this is all kind of just a bit of a, a raised area here, and uh, so it all links up. So if I kind of just uh, fill this in here like uh, this, and uh, go and do another block down there, then this way it kind of looks a little bit nicer. I might actually add a, a few more half slabs here uh, like this. Uh, so this. This is just kind of a little bit of a, a higher area and then I just need to uh, block this bit off there a little bit and I need to now go and grab some more glass and then go and put it up there. Actually, I'm going to grab this glass and I'm going to throw some of this uh, cobblestone in there and I think I might have I've got a little bit more cobblestone here as well. So I'm going to leave the, uh, the cobblestone smelting in there and then I'll be able to, to make uh, a few stone buttons uh, out of that uh, a little bit later on. Uh, but now with this glass I can go and do exactly uh, what I did before and go and place it in a, a row along here. Uh, so then that way you can just go and press the button and uh, all of the items are going to fall down into the uh, the water uh, which is going to, to be underneath there so I guess the uh, the next thing to do uh, would be to, to add the uh, the water uh, actually in then so there's going to be a little hole uh, in the uh, the floor around this area here uh, where you're going to go and uh, gather up uh, all of the uh, the materials uh, once they've eventually come out so I'm going to kind of just dig uh, a tunnel in uh, before I actually uh, add in the uh, the water uh, just to, just to kind of mark out uh, where it's uh, exactly um uh, exactly going to, to be so I'm actually going to have glowstone uh, along the, the floor here and oh looks like there's a, a little bit of a, a cave hidden underneath me I didn't know that was here <laughs> I think this is um this is built over one of the the old buildings that used to be in this area so there's uh, often some weird looking basements around the place uh, so let's go and uh, add this uh, glowstone uh, in uh, along here because uh, this is where the uh, the trail of water is going to go and then once again like the other side it's going to drop down a little bit lower uh, so it actually goes underneath the uh, the floor and it uh, goes and links up with the the other side so uh, where did it come out on this side here I'm going to have to kind of break things away a little bit uh, just while I'm building it uh, but I think this here yeah this is where the the water is going to come down on this side here and so it's kind of go going to go down like this a little bit and going to go down this way and then they should hopefully link up about here and then I want them to, to end up 
uh, coming out around this area here somewhere. It doesn't matter exactly uh, where it ends up coming out, uh, as long as it's kind of in the uh, the floor uh, somewhere around here. So let's go and uh, break away a little bit more of this uh, floor here, and a little bit in this direction as well, and uh, try and make it uh, so it all links up. And oh, <laughs> I think I uh, ended up digging uh, a little bit too far down there. Let's go uh, up a little bit higher and uh, try and work out uh, how this is all going to link up. So it's going to go uh, to about here. And then it's going to go down this way, then hopefully end up being there. So let's just add some uh, dirt now, because uh, this is all going to be uh, under the uh, the ground. It doesn't really matter what it looks like too much. And then the other thing to work out is uh, where it's going to end up uh, going down lower, because uh, it kind of needs to go down a little bit lower here somewhere, uh, just to make sure it can go further. So I think the uh, the easiest way to do this is just to add in the uh, the water, and uh, just see uh, how far the uh, the water goes, because uh, the tricky thing is to make sure that it all ends up going in the the right direction. Because water can sometimes be a little bit weird in terms of the uh, the way it flows. So uh, the trick is is to hopefully try and make it uh, so it all kind of goes where we exactly want it to, to go. So I might have to just uh, uh, fiddle around with this a little bit until it goes where I want it to go. So I know I need uh, to have some water coming down here. Uh, so when any of the uh, the items get fired out, they're going to go to this stream here, and then I need to add uh, a couple more. Uh, uh, bits of water uh, over into the uh, the area where the um, uh, where the uh, the the die was, and uh, then hopefully this should be uh, enough. So I am actually going to have to uh, break away this glass for now, which I always hate doing. I hate that sound, <laughs> uh, but it should be okay. I only need to, to break away one bit. Then I can add a little bit of water here. Then I can go and do the uh, the same on the the other side down there, and uh, hopefully it's all going to link up and go exactly uh, to where I want it to go. I have a strong feeling that that isn't what's going to happen, but we're going to test it out anyway and uh, see if it all goes to plan. So this is all going to go down here, and aha! It does go to exactly where I want it to, to go, but this bit uh, down here uh, doesn't actually seem to go far enough. So what I could do is if I just dig it down so it goes a little bit lower, it should make it. There we go. It now starts uh, to, to spread uh, a little bit further. There is a, a bit of a weird pit underneath the, the ground there, uh, which I need uh, to fill in a little bit. Actually, that block needs to go... Uh, needs to, I need to get rid of that there. And uh, there does just seem to be a little bit of a, uh, a weird hole down there. But do you see what I mean? Because uh, what I'm trying to do is make it so it all goes to the uh, the same place. Uh, but it's kind of making a little bit of a, a weird dip uh, down there. So I might actually make it uh, so this bit goes down uh, lower. Uh, the whole way around down there. Uh, but remember, all of this is going to be covered up by half slabs. So all of this uh, won't be seen. Uh, it's all going to be uh, under the uh, under the, the ground uh, down there. But at the moment, uh, you can see that this water uh, kind of isn't mixing properly. Like this water here seems too strong and it's kind of spreading a, a little bit weird at the moment. So that's going to be the thing I'm going to have to, to struggle uh, to try and work out. But in theory, uh, it should be uh, working. So let me just go and have a little bit of a test to go and see that if it's uh, at least working uh, on the uh, the side where the uh, the dyes are. So uh, let me just go. Uh, let's just go and make some dye. I guess I can go and just gather up some of these these flowers. I can go and gather up some of these uh, these uh, yellow ones down here, and I go and get some of these red ones as well. And then we can at least make some some red and yellow dye, and I guess some orange dye as well uh, from these ones, which are, are really easy to make. Uh, so let's go and turn some of these into some dye. Shall I make some orange dye as well? Yep. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to go and also make the uh, the uh, the stone buttons as well by grabbing some of this uh, smooth stone from this chest here. And uh, let me go and put down some of the, the buttons, and uh, even though it won't be working completely yet, uh, I should be able to have at least a, a little bit of a, a test to go to see that whether, in theory, uh, it's going to, to be working at all. So let's go and uh, add in some of these buttons uh, along here. I want to make sure that I add some down on that side. I also fell into my pit of water. <laughs> I've made such a mess. I made it look so nice and pretty in here, and then I ended up making a, a huge mess out of it all. Uh, so let's just go and try and add uh, some of this stuff in there. So I can add some orange into this one here. If I jump up here, I can add some uh, red dye into this one down here. And then in the uh, the yellow side, I can go and add some yellow dye in there. And I might actually just add a, a button on one of these as well, just to show you that this kind of would be working. So see if I press that, uh, you'll see that the, uh, the paper uh, comes flying out. And then if I go to, to this side down here, I'm going to go and press these two like that. And you can see they all go and make their way uh, into the uh, into the uh, the water. And uh, they'll eventually uh, make their way, hopefully, uh, down to, to where this block uh, here is, is what the uh, the plan is. Or they're all just going to go and get stuck down there. <laughs> I think I made this too high. I think I need to make that area uh, a little bit lower. And then the, uh, the entire thing will be uh, working. But sadly, uh, we have actually just about... 
I ran out of time in this episode. It seemed to absolutely whiz past. And don't worry, Lee Bear, I did not forget to admire your spires. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and stand over here, and I'm going to do a slow turn around and uh, have the uh, the reveal uh, of what the uh, the fire workshop's going to look like uh, from the the outside. So da 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 da. Whoa! That looks cool. Don't you think that looks really cool? And uh, I can't wait to see it uh, when it's uh, at night time as well and uh, to see them all lit up and uh, glowing uh, with all of the uh, the glowstone in the middle. I think uh, they look pretty awesome. So what we're going to do is uh, in the uh, the next episode, uh, we are going to go and try and finish off uh, building everything on the, the inside here and sort out this mess <laughs> that I made in uh, this episode here. And uh, yeah, then we can go and use the workshop and uh, try and make ourselves some very special uh, fireworks and do a little bit of a, a fireworks display. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing in the, in the, uh, the next episode. Episode. I'll be leaving a, a link in the description to that episode, uh, which should be online very soon. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!